just finished watching this week's episode of The Bachelor and I have a lot of thoughts that could not possibly wait until Catherine and I meet for the next Reactivity TV. So on Reactivity TV, Catherine and I give our therapist takes on things that we're seeing on TV and in movies and we try our very best to be as objective as possible. So this take might be controversial from a therapist, but I cannot ignore the fact that Zach was incredibly selfish this episode and it was really frustrating to watch the way that he put his own needs in front of everybody else's, but tried to convince himself and others it was for the good of all. Started the week by making a claim that he was going to remove sex from the fantasy suite portion of the dates, which didn't actually need to be said. We didn't need to know about that. He didn't need to make this proclamation that in fact, he couldn't actually follow through with. And as a result, he was filled with so much guilt about going back on his word, about how he thought this would reflect on his character. And he felt like he was misleading and lying to the other women about um, him not sticking to his word. After he's racked with guilt, he goes and tells Gabby that he feels really badly about what happened, which you could see Gabby's reaction was completely crushed and she felt completely blindsided, especially when Zach then said, so now I need to tell everyone, including the world, including everyone in America, <laughs> that we had sex. And Gabby was clearly uncomfortable with that, but Zach made this decision by himself and did not even think to include Gabby in the decision-making process of sharing a very private moment with other people. It's not only a violation of trust, but it is incredibly selfish to, again, take this act, take this thing that happened between two people that was meant to be private and make it public, again, for assuaging of your own guilt. Zach has the audacity on his date with Katie to unload on her all these thoughts he's got going on in his brain, aka all of his guilty feelings about what he did with Gabby the night before, and unloads on her this thing that happened. And he says to her, you're, you're acting so nervous. You're acting like I'm going to drop a bomb. Well, Zach, you did. You are. And then you're getting frustrated with Katie for saying, I didn't actually need to know that. I didn't want to know that. And you're only telling me this because it's trying to make you feel better. And Katie was so spot on. Zach is going all around saying, I'm doing this. I'm telling everyone this for everyone's sake, because it's fair to everyone. No, Zach, that is a lie. You are doing this for yourself to try to hamper your own guilt down, to assuage your own guilt, and that was really not fair. It was incredibly selfish. Throughout this entire season, that, that Zach really struggles with empathy. He really doesn't understand how to empathize with others. He also really has a hard time figuring out how to respond when other people are emotional. And this was such another clear example of Zach's deficiency in those skills. So I'm really looking forward to see what happens next week as we get to proposals. But there's a part of me that kind of wishes that Zach ends up alone because he really doesn't deserve to be with anyone yet because he's too self-focused. We'll certainly be back with more of our therapist takes on the finale, the proposals after the final rose. So get ready. I am so ready to go in on Zach, which maybe isn't fair as a therapist, but I'm only human. I'm back here because the therapist in me is always so eager to try to understand and try to hold empathy for when people do things that maybe aren't so helpful or healthy. So that's why I'm back. The empathy, it, it won. Okay, so I wanna talk about guilt for a second. Guilt is an emotion, maybe broken down really simply. It means that you um, regret or feel bad about something that you did. Um, and um, in this case, Zach, it didn't seem like he was having guilt around having sex with Gabby, but he was having guilt around going back on his word. As we've seen throughout the entire episode, character is really important to Zach, that he wants to stand out as someone who has a strong sense of character. Um, he wants to be a good guy. He clearly wants to be liked. And so as he is in this predicament where he, again, made this proclamation and then went back on his word, you can understand how that would feel like such a threat to his um, character to his sense of character and potentially a threat to the way that other people viewed him as a good guy. Any 
anytime anyone feels threatened in, in some way or insecure in a way or anxious in a way, we go out of our way to try to get our need met, need for comfort, need for reassurance, need for affirmation, um, and, and we go to any means possible. And those aren't always the most helpful or healthy things. That was really what Zach did. Yes, it was a selfish action, but it wasn't motivated by selfishness. It was motivated by trying to quell the sense of dissonance that he had um, because of, again, saying one thing and doing another and the worry about the consequences of that action in terms of how he was perceived. And so he went uh, to these behaviors that, again, were largely selfish, uh, self-motivated, but like, was like this urgent need to reduce this feeling, get rid of this guilt, help himself feel better, which again is, is really human. As a therapist, what I would have loved to see Zach do instead is to really try to sit with those emotions of guilt and really try to understand what might have been even underneath them to really get at maybe some of that insecurity and the anxiety that he was feeling. And then I would ask him to kind of think through his next steps, potential next steps to manage his guilt or maybe repair if he truly felt like there was a rupture as a result of the actions that he took. And then I would have him think about the potential consequences of those actions and where it would maybe do the least harm, which action would result in the least harm. And I don't think that Zach really gave himself an opportunity to really sit with the feelings and sit with the potential decisions because the sense of urgency to just rid himself of the feeling won out. Truthfully, that's so relatable. I've done that countless times. And so I can't totally hate on Zach for, again, being in a stressful situation and responding in a way that reacts to stress. Um, and what I can encourage anyone to do who might've done that before too, is to really try to use a lot more self-awareness so that you can be more responsive rather than reactive when you're feeling these more stressful feelings. I'd love to hear your take on my two takes. Uh, where, do you, where do you line up? Where do you weigh in? Um, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts, your perspective on what happened this week.